Spell Tutorial Services. In today's video, we're going to look at an application of uh, vectors. I'm going to begin with this word problem. The magnitude and direction of two forces acting on an object are 70 pounds south, 56 degrees east, and 50 pounds north, 72 degrees east, respectively. We need to find the magnitude to the nearest hundredth of a pound and the direction angle to the nearest tenth of a degree of the resultant force. All right, let's begin with um, vector V. Vector V, its bearings are south, 56 degrees east. Uh, let's label. So we have north, east to the right, south to the bottom, and west to the left. If we're going south to east, we have to start at the y-axis here, and we need to bear to our right. And in this case, we're bearing to the right, 56 degrees. So I know that this angle here is 56 degrees. And with basic math, I know that inside this quadrant is 90, so I need to do 56, I'm sorry, 90 minus 56 to give me 34 degrees. I have to be careful here, though, because when I'm moving in a clockwise direction around this Cartesian coordinate plane, I'm actually going to have a negative value here. So from here to here is 34 degrees, but it needs to be negative because I'm moving in a clockwise fashion. So here we see that negative um, 34 degrees is what theta is for our first vector. And I'm going to label that vector V. I need to also label the magnitude uh, for this vector. And its magnitude here is uh, 70 pounds. So I'm just going to place the 70 pounds right here to the right. For the other vector, I'm going to switch colors to try to make this uh, easier to see and understand. And switch it here to this purple this purple color. For the second vector which I'm going to call W, that has a bearing of seven of north 72 degrees east. So starting here north on the, on the y-axis I'm going to bear to my right 72 degrees. So if this here is the vector as I bear to the right that angle there is 72 degrees and again I know that it's 90 degrees in the entire quadrant so here I'm going to do the equation 90 minus 72 and that comes out to be 18 so for the second for the second vector the theta the, the value of theta is actually going to be um, 18 Oops, let me fix that actually going to be 18 what I need to do here is let me just write it so it's easier seen over here theta is equal to 18 degrees and also the label at W and the magnitude for this one is actually 50 pounds alright let's stick with this with this vector first so for W I need to take its magnitude which is 50 pounds multiply that by cosine theta in this case theta is 18 and the horizontal component is I plus 50 sine of 18 degrees and that's J go back I'll go back and actually um, evaluate that in a moment but let's switch now back to the maroon color and let's write the equation for the for the vector V alright vector V has a magnitude of 70 pounds and that's going to be cosine we see we said theta here was negative 34 and that's going to be I let's fix that I plus 70 sine of negative 34 and that's going to be J what we're going to do now is switch to the calculator and actually figure out what these values uh, come out to be so here we pull up the calculator, let's turn it on, and let's start with let's start with vector V here. Vector V 70 70 cosine negative 34. That gives a value 
of negative 59.3 but really what we need to do first is make sure we're in the right mode so let me go back and check the mode we're not in the right mode it's in radians we need to be in degrees because everything we've done here is degrees so let's we'll switch to degrees and let's clear it out and then let's go back and redo that calculation to redo that that's actually 50.0 i I'm sorry, 58.0i or just 58. So 58i, and then let's figure out what our j component is going to be. For our j component, again, 70 sine and negative 34, and that comes out to be negative 39.1j. negative 39 and 1 tenth J and now let's go ahead and switch back to purple and let's get the information here for vector W alright I'm looking with, looking with vector W is 50 cosine 18 and that came out to 47.6 I and now let's go ahead and figure out J 50 sine 18 and that there came out to be 15 and 5 tenths J 15, 5 tenths J. All right, for us to figure out what the resultant force is, we need to add vector V plus vector W. And as a matter of fact, we're going, we're going to go to a whole new color for that. Let's go to the blue for that. And V plus W, we need to add our I components, which would be We need to add our I components, which would be 47. Let's just erase the whole thing. So it's uniform. V plus W. Our I components are 47 and 6 tenths plus 58. I plus our J components, 15 and 5 tenths minus 39 and one tenth J and again from my calculator let's add those values up we have 47 47 and six tenths plus 58 that gives us 105 and six tenths I and then we're going to add our J components. Our J components are 15, 15 and 5 tenths minus 39 and 1 tenth. That gives us a negative 23 and 6 tenths. 6 tenths J and with that we can create <clears throat> with that we can create another uh, or create a special triangle so with that let's draw another let's just draw what that will look like on another coordinate plane the I is going to be positive so we know we're moving to the right and the J is negative which means we would move down so what that would do is create a triangle that looks like like so where theta would be here this length here would be 105.6 for the horizontal and for the vertical it would be negative 23.6 and we would have to figure out what the magnitude here so let's just put that would be V plus W in this notation that's what we want to find for that length there to find that we know from other videos 
that that's going to be the square root of the horizontal component squared so 105.6 squared plus the square of the vertical component all right let's put that into our calculator all right so we have <clears throat> Let's do second square root, 105.6 raised to the second power, plus, um, since we're squaring, I don't need the negative, because anytime you, anytime you uh, multiply by two negatives, the outcome is positive. So we're just going to put the 23.6 raised to the second power. And we get that answer, and we see that our magnitude is 108 and 2 tenths. So let's put, let's place this here. 108 and 2 tenths. Now what we need to do is we need to find out what this angle theta is here. So to do that, we're going to use the, uh, we're going to use one of our trig our trig functions. Well, we're gonna we're gonna just use cosine. We could use sine. We can use tangent. We could use a lot of others, but we're gonna we're just gonna use cosine. Well, the cosine is gonna be the adjacent side over the hypotenuse. Our adjacent side is 105.6, and we just calculated the hypotenuse, and we see that its magnitude is or its length is 108.2. All right. Now, for us to figure out what theta is, we need to take we need to take the arc cosine of both sides of this equation. So, if I take the arc cosine of the left-hand side and the arc cosine of the right-hand side, the left-hand side is going to evaluate to theta. And we're going to place the right hand side into back into the calculator. Alright, so let's do shift part cosine 105.6 divided by 108.2. And we see that theta comes out to be 12.6 degrees. All right, now for this problem, we don't want 12.6 degrees. We want to actually use the bearing. So to get the bearing, I need to subtract 90 from this 12.6. And that would give me, that would give me this angle here so that I can come up with the bearing. So what I would do here is 90 minus the 12.6 right, so let's just do 90 minus 12.6 and we see that comes out to be 77.4 degrees 77.4 alright now since I want to do this in bearings I know this down here is south and for me to move in this direction I'm moving east so the bearing would actually be south 77.4 degrees east so that's one of our answers there that we were looking for and then the other thing we wanted was the magnitude and we found that magnitude to be here at 108.2 for the what we would call the resultant force alright that sums it up for this video from Spell Tutorial Services please friend us on Facebook and also subscribe to our YouTube channel both found under the name Spell Tutorial and thank you again for watching